congratulations on your purchase of a pool table from Random Cool Stuff. We've got a short video here to hopefully help you assemble your pool table with ease and uh, take away any frustrations. Firstly, it's a good idea to check that each of the three boxes describes the same product, as in seven foot pool table, color green. On each box, the small box is universal. It doesn't really matter which color that box is. When unpacking this main flat box, make sure you keep the cardboard in good order. You're gonna need that for assembly. So make sure you've got a power drill with like a Phillips unit on it there, a nice sharp knife and a wee engineering hammer. That's all you're gonna need. Everything else is in the kit, ready for assembly. So unpack all the boxes, organize everything a little bit tidy. Uh, the screws, all the numbered and numbered packets, it's best just to line them all up from one to 12 with the little nails at the end, so it's easier for you to find them. You can put the things that you don't need to build the table separate, the pockets and the, the feet are gonna go on at the very end. So just keep everything neat and separate. And then the main top lid box, we've flattened out the edges, placed these chrome corners in each corner, and now we're gonna put the side rails on. So get the four cushions, place them all onto these chrome corners, they fit in the holes here. Make sure the whole thing's lined up nicely with the cardboard and that'll keep it all square. And then you can take off these two supports which are just there to keep it in one piece during shipping. Now using seven and five, which is like a bolt and a washer, secure the corners, but only just um, take up the slack, don't tighten them at all at this point. Now we're gonna lift the top like this onto the edges and you don't have to be too fussy at this point about where it lands. So we've cut the end of the glue bottle, run glue all along where these panels are gonna lift in contact and, and also on the ends of the contact section there. Put glue on all of those and then get ready your little screws out of packet number nine to fix all this in place. So this is how it all goes together. A couple of screws in the ends. Just lift the panels all up and fix all these screws in. So the most important part of construction is getting your table nice and square and everything lined up correctly. So we're gonna measure the distance between this top rail and the rail here, there's always a little gap along here and it varies with different tables. But you've got to make sure the ends are the same and the two sides are also the same. And then using six and eight uh, screws and washers, we can fix all those down firmly. And once they're fit down firmly, we can also tighten up these corner ones properly. And now using number 11 screws, we're going to pre-assemble both ends of the, the outside of the pool table. So these chrome corners go on. If you see, they go from the narrow to the wider part, the wider part being on the edge where the holes are. So you can mount those two now. So we're gonna put the side panels on, make sure the slanting groove down here matches the angle of the groove on the side you're fixing it to. And attach the three screws there and then we're going to do we're going to push it all over and do the second side so once you've got the two side panels attached to the end panel put it all in place and fix just this end at this point with the number 10 screws four of them and then we're going to put in the uh, ball return panels next the ball return panels slide into the grooves you can easily figure out which way they go. Obviously with the EVA surface facing downwards, push them both into place. Fix the side panels in with the number 10 screws. So 
So now we've put the end panel on. Make sure it's all lined up as good as you can. Put the other six screws in, three on each side, to fix that into place. And once that's done, we're going to put the four number 10 screws in the end fascia part here. So that's all fixed down. Now we're going to pop the end ball return panel into place. It has little slots and grooves and things that it fits into. And fix that into place with some screws out of packet number 12. Now we're going to put the legs on. So we've unpacked the legs. We've got the bolts and washers from five and one. And just wind them in and uh, just take up the slack. But again, don't tighten these up. We're going to put all the leg assembly together before we're going to tighten anything up. But using three, four and six, which is bolts, washers and nuts, we're going to attach these side panels on and they go inside the legs, not on the outside if you want to look nice with one washer on each side. Using the screws and washers two and six, we're going to attach these end panels with the Allen key provided. You can tighten them up at this point and make sure that the inserts which are visible are facing inside the pool table so you're not looking at them. Now we're going to tighten everything up using the Allen key and there's a little spanner included in the box but certainly if you have a crescent spanner of your own it's probably better than this one but this does does do it tighten all these bolts up and all the main bolts at the bottom so your whole base legs system is secure so now we're going to roll the table over onto either the other piece of cardboard or if you've got a floor surface that you're not concerned about scratching you don't need it but if you worried about it, use the cardboard. You don't need to lift the table bodily, you can just roll it over, but it's important that you have not put on the chrome feet at this point, because you can't roll the table on those chrome feet. So let's roll it over. Boom, there it is, magically rolled over. I'm gonna put the pockets in. If you look carefully, four of the pockets are slightly different shape for the corners and the two that go in the side pockets. So you place them as far in as even as you can. And with a little hammer and the little nails, one nail in each corner. So it's just about a centimeter in and just under a centimeter down. And you fix them in with those little nails. So the hard part's over, your table's all looking like a pool table now. And we're gonna put the little chrome feet on. So it's important with each one to make sure this little nut starts off wound all the way down but with no tension. And then you're going to have to get a strong person to lift each end of the table up one end at a time and screw those feet all the way in but again with no tension at this point. Now to level our table you may have a proper builder's level at home. If you don't just Download a free app, uh, like on this iPhone here, and you've got a little level. Start at one end. If the table needs rising in one corner, simply unwind the foot on that corner a little bit until you get the table level. Slip the level down to the far end of the table. Do the same until it's level. Then we're gonna move it to the center and make sure the longitudinal aspect of the table is also level. And the way to do this without messing up the one end is to just count half turns on each foot. So if you have to bring the table up a few turns, make sure you do it evenly, and that way the whole table will end up level. And once you've done this, simply tighten up the little bolts that are under here up against the table, and that'll stop the table moving. If your table's going on a carpet surface, just remember that the underlay may wear in and you may need to recheck the level of the table after a week or so. Other than that, I think we're all ready to have a game. Enjoy. Enjoy.